U.S. Assistant Secretary for African Affairs, Linda Thomas-Greenfield, is more about people than policy. Our interest in Africa is in the people of Africa. Here she is in Kibera in Nairobi, Kenya last December, seeing firsthand the operations of a U.S.-supported public health program there. Ambassador Thomas Creation, Greenfield replaced Ambassador Johnny Carson at a troubled time on the continent. With the political unrest in the Central African Republic of great concern to the United States. We're monitoring that situation very closely and we're working very closely with all of our partners, including, uh, including the French, uh, the United Nations, uh, regional organizations to uh, address the growing uh, insecurity that's taking place uh, in that country. She recently briefed the U.S. Congress on the crisis in South Sudan. Neither the United States nor the international community will countenance the armed overthrow of a democratically elected government. Second, hostilities must stop. Any and all violence directed at civilian populations must end. Those responsible for perpetrating human rights abuses must be held accountable. The career diplomat has had several postings in Africa, including as ambassador to the Republic of Women Liberia. Today, as President Obama's Assistant Secretary for African Affairs, her overriding General task Crystal is to is further the here. core pillars of uh, President Obama's and, and African and foreign policy. Him, Strengthening democratic institutions that, again, focus on people. We want to promote regional peace and security. We want to engage young African leaders, and we want to promote development, trade, and investment. Speaking to college graduates at her alma mater, Louisiana State University, she had words of encouragement applicable to all of us. You remember that no matter where you are and what you do, you can make a difference. As Martin Luther King said, and I quote, make a career of humanity. It will enrich your spirit as nothing else possibly can. It will give you that rare sense of nobility that can only spring from love and selflessly helping your fellow man. You will make a greater person of yourself, a greater nation of your country, and a final world to live in. Paul Sisko, VOA News. And as you VOA pursue News. your careers in humanity. Thanks, Paul, for that report. Now,